That's the one they were talking about. Artist Dan Flavin has rapidly developing cataracts, and it's difficult for him to see more than just a blur. As he tours his art collection, he relies on memory. That's as big a, a uh, Japanese drawing as you'll see. That's a quite large one. And you know, she, at first, Madame Moshe wouldn't sell it to me. These drawings are on display at the Dan Flavin Art Institute in Bridgehampton, Long Island, run by DIA Center for the Arts. The ground floor is devoted to exhibitions of artists' works curated by Flavin. But one flight up is something else entirely. It is putting me into a complete state of ecstasy. I'm totally ecstatic. When I'm up here, I'm ecstatic. Here on the upper floor are nine of Dan Flavin's light sculptures, made of fluorescent tubes. On display since 1983, these works are meant to be on permanent view. Only if, if art is a permanent part of the environment can it truly um, have a deeper effect and long-lasting effect on people. This institute is now open here in, Long in, in Bridgehampton for about 15 years. And it will, and hopefully shall, be open for another 95 years and, and so on. This institute was once a firehouse, and after that a Baptist church. Dia acquired the building in the late 70s as an ideal space for Flavin to shape according to his own artistic vision. I wanted to bring material into the area that's uh, unexpected and that people can take lots of time to, uh, to be with and I really uh, wanted to stick around I wanted to stay up to, so that they may be acquainted with it we have <clears throat> obviously a kind of uh, warrior or somebody who is in the action of, of slaying a, a slayer but just take a look at these lines. I mean, look at, the, look at the way these things are drawn and the kind of, I mean, look at this hand. It has a fierceness that's just thrilling to me. If we look underneath Dan Flavin's work, there is also some, you know, madness there. DIA Center for the Arts was founded largely to create permanent site-specific installations like this one so that the art of Dan Flavin and his contemporaries will never be lost or forgotten. People can come back over time. You can come, I mean, even people who've been here 10 years ago, they come back and it's a different experience. Part of it is remembered, part of it is new. And the same thing happens even over generations. People will be able to see this for real, not in pictures, not in uh, movies, but to, to, to come to this place and see what this time was all about. Dan Flavin's Art Institute on Corwith Avenue in Bridgehampton is open throughout the summer. For WNYC, this is Jenny Atia.